we all need someone to talk to. The question is, who do we talk to? And who is there out there that understands us that we can talk to? Even if we have someone that we can talk to, why would they listen to us? Because everyone's busy in their own lives and everyone has their own issues to deal with. So why would they listen to you? So who is there that understands you and has time to listen to you? And how do you find them? The challenge is knowing where to start. This is the hardest part, unless you've prepared beforehand and have someone there that you can talk to. It's easier to develop connections and meaningful relationships when you're not feeling so low, right? For example, when you need to learn to swim, you're not gonna start to learn how to swim once you're in the deep end. You're gonna learn beforehand because once you're in the deep end, it's too late. So learning to swim in more of a shallow area is easier and learning to build connections and meaningful relationships is easier when you're not so self-consumed. A bad state is self-consumption. Self-consumed, self-absorbed, self-centered, whatever you wanna call it, it all means the same. Now, what you call it doesn't matter. What it means matters. So what does it mean? It means when you're overly concerned about yourself, your own thoughts, your own feelings, just everything about you is more of a concern to you than anything else, which everybody does, you know, you're not the only person, every single person does that. And this is why it's hard for people to interact or speak with others, because the other person that you're talking to is only thinking about themselves because they're self-consumed as well. Now, when you're thinking about yourself consistently, you know, you'd fail to ask somebody on how they are feeling. Now, if you've noticed, a lot of people would say, oh, how are you? Or how are you doing today? Or you know, are you okay? Or stuff like that. Now, do they really mean it when they say it? Or are they just saying, hi? Really? They're just saying hi. They don't really, are, they're not really interested in how you actually are feeling unless you've built that connection with them. And how to build that connection with them, I'm gonna tell you. So let me just tell you how a self-consumed person works. So let me give you an example. Say there's a robbery at, at your house. Now, instead of you thinking about the people that were in the house, you're looking around at your possessions of what has been stolen. That's the first thing that came to your mind. So this is where you're self-consumed, where you're not thinking about other people and you're just thinking about yourself. And in this case, just your possessions. So shine the spotlight in the other direction. This is how you build these relationships. Let me tell you. The only way to reverse this effect is to shine the spotlight onto someone else. Like it or not, everybody is only in it for themselves in this world. And everyone is all self-consumed and only think about on how they are feeling and how they should do things in their life and not thinking about other people, really. But it's true, like, obviously you should come first, shouldn't you? Isn't that how, that's how you'd be able to get your stuff done? Like, by you thinking about somebody else, ain't gonna get your stuff done true but by shining the spotlight onto someone else it helps you in two ways now the first way how it helps you if you go out there and genuinely ask somebody how are they feeling today and genuinely wanting to know on how they're feeling today your self-consumption within yourself on how you are feeling will go out the window because now what you're doing is you're not thinking about yourself anymore at that time all you're doing is you're thinking about the other person so your problems will become minimized and their problems will become bigger for you and for them. So your self-consumption will end there when you ask somebody on how they are feeling. Now, the second way it's gonna help you is that when you ask someone on how they're feeling, you get that information out of them. So you make them feel better. When they feel better, if they ask you in return or even if you tell them, they're willing to listen now. Why? because you've heard them out, they're feeling better, so they're fit now to hear you out and be less self-consumed now because you've heard them out. And now they are fit now to help you, fit for that purpose to then listen to you and not think about themselves. So I know it's a bit complicated, but how it works is if you help them first in basic English, then they will be able to help you. So you get that in return. But if we try and just impose our problems onto someone else they have their own problems to handle which everybody's a natural thing so because they have their own problems to handle why don't we sort their problems out first be a favor for them so then they can return that favor 
and then help you with your self-consumption and, and how you feel so that way then you'll be able to make that bond that relationship that friendship and you'll find people then to talk to and to make meaningful relationships with because when you do talk about these things you do go kind of deep and then they know more about you so i think this is a very good way to be less self-consumed help the other person here you're not just helping yourself you're helping the other person as well so both of you are in it for for a reason now when you're um uh, associated with something else maybe you're uh, in some membership at a golf club or uh, dancing uh, practice or something or say uh, when you're using drugs or something you're associated you're associated to it now that's the only reason why you would hook up because you're probably going to go play golf or you've got dance practice or something you're associated with it there's no friendship there there is no meaningful relationship there because if you take the activity out of your life would you see that person would that person see you i don't think so unless there's a meaningful relationship unless there's a relationship that isn't about what's associated with now when you have a heart to heart like they say with, with people you build a meaningful relationship like even if after that you don't help them they will always be there for you because they will always remember that you were there for them 